Hey guys, this is Isaac with the Immoral War family. Uh, doing uh, the Reapers side of the in house scrimmage we had um, between Reapers and War 101. Uh, as you can see, Reapers came out on top 113, 112, getting that victory due uh, to clearing all the nines. I think one of the two dips were needed, but they got the job done, so a well deserved victory payback for the last loss um, in the previous scrum. So six packs we got. <sighs> STR127 uh, Likari that's greater than Hypo Brave Don Crazy Ryan, uh, Cyrus, Fresh Six, very nice. Joe the Great, Fresh Six. Lord Toon, very impressive. HBT, and that's it. Um, one to one side, I don't think I addressed uh, their six packs. I might have, but uh, indecisive ace. So Thundercock and so uh, Colin the Fresh Six. And Madara Uchiha S Fresh Six. And Shuffle 2.0. So, mixed group of course, members from both sides, on each side. I'm going to start with Likari. The Shattered Goho, so very old school. Uh, but the bases as well, got that central queen, so a few outdated bases again in this war. Reapers and 101, uh, two clans in our family that don't do a range wars. He brought plenty of spare wall breakers, uh, so managed to overcome that wall breaker fail. One column gets completely stuck thanks to that outside Mordor, but he grabs the queen. And mainly starts hogging, so as soon as the queen's attention is grabbed, uh, starts hogging, no need to wait. Got that synergy going, both sides, uh, two fingers. So he's got some giants, and this was a clean up attack, so uh, he knows there's a Tesla farm in the side there. Out they come. They eat bacon, but he's got giants and wizard there. Save them to deal with that Tesla farm. Hogs finish up the base, so excellent attack. Lakari, obviously, when someone puts their doubles uh, in a troll spot like that, will fend off one attack if it's hog based, but makes cleanup extremely easy. Shadow Goho, really, all you need. You don't need anything else. When you can disable one double giant bomb with just a few giants. Good eye, Lakari. Uh, next, we got Lord Toon. Um, he, I, and Tech uh, playing this one. So go Vaho, fresh attack, very impressive. Two Loon's Ed take the water out so that pathing is um, disabled, so Golem's going to walk free. So Queen will deal with the enemy Queen.
Shiro go to the left, goes to that army camp, natural funnel. CC is pulled. Queen does that as well, so a bit of a lengthy walk opener. Immediately, Queen walk starts, sorry, hybrid starts. Because that mortar is gone. That wall breakers, max wall breakers in the CC. Double jump to disable all possible double giant bombs. Test farm in the core, no match for healed Valks. And all he's got to do is hog uh, the outer ring. Second double goes down. And it's a triple, so very nice job, Lord Toon, for freshing this space. Both royals at full HP. Excellent dissection. Next you got uh, STL127 Reapers. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's a bunch of letters and numbers. Uh, using uh, Govaho, I believe. Max Falks in the CC. EQ as well. So there's a bit of a Golem Queen walk, old school style here at, in the beginning of the raid, letting her walk all the way down to clear that entire compartment. She takes some damage there, um, but not enough. So I point out very good use of wizards and the queen to clear external point defense. That's some pretty advanced stuff, I'm pretty impressed by that. EQ's gonna open up the entire core, Pekka and CC, so... He's got the poisons regardless. That whole core opened up, and King Golems, uh, they're gonna do some work. And he's gonna hog the outer ring. He's got two heals, four his hogs. Uh, everyone shares the heal there. Holds the rest of the ring, he's got that heal for the final compartment. Down goes to base. So, excellent opener and rest of the raid, STR. Good stuff. Next, got Brave, uh, no, sorry, Bravo TM against Dark Prince. It's gonna be a four golem attack. Um, Dark Prince is an interesting base, dead zone, so a bit out of date, but uh, he's got a massive push going, plenty of wizards. And he's got Max Valks in the CC again, so basically like a four golem attack. So the base is split into essentially one huge compartment, uh, Queen Moat, which he's going to jump into, and then the rest of the base. But he's got a double jump, so he's going to cross over into the rest of the base. Obvious double giant bomb between that expo and air defense. And then hog the rest, because no other threats. So that compartment goes down easily. Golems back by Queen and some wizards, which are still up, are going to do work in the core. Surgical hogs on the left. So it's got with his double giant bombs in a different place. Which is pretty dumb, but. Heals up the hogs as they finally encounter defenses untanked. But very, very nice um, dissection of this space, splitting it up into multi stages.
think she got Cyrus. Uh, doing Queen Walk Govaho with EQ. Cyrus is a very long time member. I think he's a co leader in War 101. Used to be in Thieves as well, so. Starts up by walking from 12. He's not going to get the CC this way. But he's going to let her run and start his uh, hybrid in on the left hand side. He allows his Valks to beat through the first layer of walls, uh, which is quite intuitive. So you can do that nowadays with Valks. Pack on the CC, no problem for Valks to take out. He heals everyone as they encounter the Tesla Farm, but uh, this is an open Queen Walk. She's going to do her own thing and hopefully negate that double giant bomb. So just got Hogs left at this stage, and really swags that rage. I think uh, he was using it as insurance in case his Queen ever went down to something low. But basically swags that rage. Very nice attack, Cyrus. Last we got Crazy Ryan on Sheffy. Uh, this is a base I've seen before. It's got those Teslas in the core with double giant bombs in there. Pretty sneaky. Um, but Crazy Ryan's gonna do a Golem Avalanche in this one. I'll see you. Most dead zone bases are weak to that attack. Uh, Golem Avalanche, I think, uh, is really a 3 minute 30 attack, but it still can be done uh, in these 3 minutes. It's going to be fast. Crazy Ryan's going to mix of jump and EQ. It's straightforward attack, really. Golems backed by wizards, and then you break more in into each compartment and jump them all through the base. Now I know why this attack is so... Uh, this is an emphatic elite base. And... I tried the same attack against this base in the emphatic elite war, but failed because I messed up my wall breakers. So, and the exact same plan as well with the EQ and the jump. So very nice, crazy Ryan. There's the Teslas. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Getting some sweet revenge. <laughs> So pretty straightforward there. Uh, just got to keep those Wizzies alive. Splash is pretty damaging to them. So even more wall breakers. Queen is stuck behind a wall, but uh, the main force of this attack is the Wizzies. Queen meets back up with them. Final jump, and the last compartment doesn't even matter. It's just three defenses left. Nice execution, uh, Crazy Ryan, especially uh, with those wall breakers, you know, getting all that timing right. So really, this is this is the main one of the main reasons why dead zones suck ass nowadays. So great job, Reapers. Uh, what's a fun wall from what I've heard uh, from both sides? And uh, you guys pull off the win this time. And I'm sure uh, both sides uh, had a very, very good learning experience from this. It will help a lot in the future. If you'd like to join us, uh, get in on this action, uh, visit themoralwarfamily.com and uh, you, you can apply on the website and we will get back to you there. That's all from me. Have a good one.